the minimum standard that is required for a car to be sold in the regulation is this you have to use the model of an average male for all the testing full stop this is the average female which have the the shape of the torso and the the hips and the pelvis uh, of, of a female, in addition to the length, of course, and the weight. And when it comes to geometry of the torso, you, we would have, for the female compared to the male, a uh, more narrow shoulder area and a wider hip area. The muscles in, in the neck is weaker normally in, in, a, in a woman. So you can see, if you compare this, with a human model or with a male dummy, you can see this, this neck is more flexible and has more movements if you perform exactly the same crash test, the same speed and the same deacceleration. Both males and females should be equally represented when we assess the, the protection of the occupants or yeah, road users in, in a crash. By that we will have an inclusive assessment instead of today, which is where it's uh, exclusive.